Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Electrical Concepts. My name is Avik and Roy. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about an overview of fuse. Okay, so as everyone knows, the fuse is nothing but a short piece of metal that is used in the electrical equipments uh, for the protection purpose because it gets melted whenever an excessive current flows through it or the current which is higher than the rated value or in case of fault it gets melted and disconnects the uh, equipment from the supply hence the system gets protected okay so fuse this is a fuse pro pro provides the protection so as we know that it is very cheap then no maintenance is required then very fast operation even it is faster than the circuit breakers right and but one more thing is that the replacement after every operation is required every time it is used it gets melted so another new uh, fuse has to be inserted in place of the older one okay so this is one uh, drawback because it takes time okay so this is these are some advantages and disadvantages but uh, talking about the ideal properties of a fuse so a fuse should have a low melting point like tin lead it should also have low cost okay it should have a high conductivity like copper silver and last but not the least the cap capability of free from deterioration due to the oxidation okay so it should also be free from the oxidation problem like silver okay so now let us discuss what is fuse law so this is known as fuse law i square is directly proportional to the cube root of d for i is your fuse current what is fuse current fuse current is nothing but it is a minimum current at which the fuse gets melted and disconnect the circuit that is called fuse current okay and d is the diameter of fuse wire so here we can also say i is equal to k multiplied with d to the power 3 by 2 where k is the fuse constant so from experiment it has been seen that the copper has the highest value of fuse constant after copper it is aluminium then i guess tin what is the significance of uh, this k is for a fixed diameter if you compare two metals like one suppose copper and one is aluminium so in case of copper the fuse current will be larger because its k value is larger than the uh, aluminium okay so what is the actually so what is the significance behind this is there is a term called fuse factor okay fuse factor fuse factor so fuse factor is nothing but i divided by the normal current rating normal current rating of fuse okay normal current rating of fuse so fuse factor is always greater than 1 okay because here normal current rating means it is the normal current uh, value which the fuse can carry without getting overheated or without getting melted or damaged it is a normal uh, current that a fuse can carry uh, during normal system, normal case without getting overheated okay so it is always desirable that fuse sector should be as high as possible why because suppose it is uh, not that much high it is just uh, like it is for example it is 1.5 okay although it is always greater than 1 but suppose it is 1.5 that means this i and the normal current these two values are close to each other and that means even if the fuse is carrying a normal current still there is a chance that the fuse may get overheated or the fuse may get melted because i is the fuse current at which it should melt or it should get overheated and as because i and this normal current are uh, approximately close to each other that means even at the normal current there is a chance that fuse may get overheated or there is a chance of deterioration 
that is why always it is preferable that fuse factor is as high as possible okay that is why from this perspective if i compare aluminium with copper as because copper has the higher value of k that means copper has the higher value of fuse current than the aluminium okay so that means between copper and aluminium uh, i should definitely choose copper because in case of copper fuse factor will be higher than that of aluminium all right i guess this, this point is clear to you so next let's see next is the types of fuse normally fuse can be divided divided as low voltage fuse and high voltage fuse so actually low voltage means like 400 volts or 440 volts like that and high voltage means like 11 kV or like 33 kV like that okay so and one more thing HRC fuse is very common and very well known okay and it comes under actual actually low voltage fuse okay it is a sub classification of low voltage fuse HRC fuse or the full form is high rupturing capacity fuse okay in case of hrc fuse silver is the metal which is used as the fuse element or fuse wire okay and silver as we know silver has very high conductivity so hrc fuse can handle a huge amount of current right next is it consists of ceramic body quartz is normally used as the arc quenching medium okay so uh, whenever the arc takes place during the uh, during melting or during disconnecting that arc can be quenched using the quartz and last but not the least why why hrc fuse is so much popular and widely used because it has very high breaking capacity around 16 kiloamps to 30 kiloamps i mean no other fuse has as high breaking capacity as HRC fuse and that is why HRC, HRC fuse is widely used okay breaking capacity means uh, it, it is that value of current it is that RMS value of current at which the fuse can successfully break the circuit by melting without damaging the surrounding okay that is called the breaking capacity so it is around 16 kiloamps to 30 kiloamps so I hope uh, this you you have got an idea of uh, different perspective of fuse like its properties, then what is fuse law, types of fuse, HRC fuse. Okay, so if you have enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.